left slime is all kinds of messed up. See how normal slime slip and then look at this one. Just twisting and all of that. What is up humans, this is the Diamond Invaded, welcome back to the land. And today is that filthy Earth human holiday known as Valentine's Day. And I've decided that we shall all celebrate it. They have gotten me this cake here, and to stay here everybody, I'm gonna go and get you your items. Once I saw these humans, some... Pretty amazing stuff. This is called a jelly sock absorber. It it demotes all damage from a certain area. No matter how high you go, you will always uh get back here. I don't know how I got infinite arrows. But I've gotten infinite arrows. As you can see, this human took 10 fall damages. Now, I missed. This one takes none. Okay, so Melon, Igtech, and Exo, I will see you in a bit. Ah, the nice lab, sub George, and a random. Gingerbread men. But, anyways, the thing that I need to do is need to head into a new dimension to because there's simply not enough sugar, sugary sweets in this one. So, with this sugar blocks and lava to activate, then I shall go into the new dimension, open arms, and hunt the natives. Or mine resources to get what I need. But for now, just a bit of food storage. Took such a while to build this, but it's all worth it. Get fresh meat. Now let's take the way back with the colorful portal. And we have some food too. Let's take this. It always have to be in this shape with the sugar blocks. Make it four by four and all of that. So let's go. Two by two, I mean. Welcome to the sugar dimension. Ouch. And I hear squishiness. But, anyways, this is the temporary set in home that I have built. Slime is all kinds of messed up. See how normal slime slip and then look at this one. Just twisted and all of that. Alright, anyways. These are the various items you can get. You can get many more, but this will be useful. To me at least. I will save those arrows for later. But that can be played for later. For now, I'm gonna take this and that because I feel that's what I'm gonna need. Gonna take some flower blocks, some honey arrows, and just be in this dimension for a while. Let's put this on, and it gives just about as much as diamond armor. While this is just slightly better than diamond, I would assume. So, it's time to go to this new area. Apparently, I'm not the first here. It seems to have some clay soldiers with their nice cake relationships and all of that. Cake mounts. Anyway, this blue tin is gone, so let's go and see what else we can get. 
Ooh, some lollipops. Let's taste it. Alright, excellent. Nice little treat. Just break them off of these uh, lollipop stems. The creepers seem to be slimes here. Interesting. Do you drop anything, little claymen? Ooh, they drop sugar. And their bodies. Okay, time to slay some... Time to slay some clay. All right, come on. I wonder how come the ones in my dimension, however, don't seem to drop anything. Oh yes, that reminds me. Forgot to show the usefulness of a certain kind of block. This uh, sugar factory takes any kind of tin from this dimension, I believe and converts it, eventually, into sugar. I have yet to figure out what the sugar furnace does. Well, I know what it does. I think yet to figure out how to work it exactly. But, that is that. And that is a mystery left for you to solve. So, let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. I still prefer me some meat, so let's eat some raw pork. Hmm. Gingerbread men. Guess one of the clay men drowned. Alright, let's go ahead and go over here. Get some more lollipops from here. Begin the plague. Huh. Maybe. Okay, so let's get in here. Just taking all of these little polite trees. Now, how are you, sugar bread? And so this is a farmer. Gives chocolate coins and all of that. A citizen. All right, licorice, honey shards, caramel block. We've got some logs, so we can get some of this. Let's see uh, uh, what they even have to offer. That much for one of those. Yo, your prices are even more outrageous than uh, the regular farmers. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slay only two of them so I can see if they drop anything. Guess not. Ooh, a bunny. Okay. Alright, so we have some fishes here. Would be nice if they traded a nice little pond. Okay. So I just simply need to slay a whole bunch of the wildlife in order to make this uh, Valentine's Day acceptable for my friends so all i need to do is go ahead and hunt more of these fishes let's attempt to get three luckily there's a whole bunch of them seem to be swimming in a school in hindsight it should have, would have been more ideal to just use a bow hey look how twisty that bow is let's just eat on the way up such a twisty bow. Okay. I seem to not be getting anything from those two. Maybe I can share them? Or something? Wait, so they drop sugar. Maybe I can place them back down so they can continue living. I'm just gonna give this one fish to Dr. Exo, or they can split it. Because, uh. Let's see. Because I haven't got much time for it. Ooh, I'm a good shot. Got one. It's all the way over there that I need to. Swim over to. 
and I got a second one. Excellent. Okay, just as I was about to give up. So, let's go ahead and get this other one here out of the way. Need some pork for our journey. Alright, so we have more of these tins to get. Now I see one of those blue floppity tins. So I will check and see what... It's gone now. I guess I'm going over here. When I get back, I'll play a bit of the music disc for them while we are eating. Okay, so they have cobblestone in this dimension as well. Along with some stuff called honey shards. Recognize it from these uh, gingerbread men. Okay. Are these edible? Guess not. Let me test for sure. Nope, they don't seem to eat it. Okay. So let's keep this going and see what else here we can go to. That's weird. Chocolate cobblestone. Well, that's certainly interesting. Might take some to take back. Maybe I will uh, sell it. Because, shoot, my lab is perfect the way it is. There are some humans nearby that could probably use some improvements to their living area. So, it's going to be mostly lollipops for them. Lollipop, lollipop, and all of that. Okay. I heard a slime ball squishing around earlier. So, ooh, gummy bunnies. Okay, excellent. They dropped these gummy items. Okay. I'll play that when we get back. And let's take the... Hmm. Can't seem to drink this. Is this the super bouncy one? That reminds me, I need to show where it is next time. Yeah, soft trample jelly. And Pez ore. Okay. Okay, so just simply do that. And it eventually destroys all of those ores. I assume these need to be smelted and then made into this Pez armor. So basically, armor is stronger than diamond and it just flows here just like that. Whenever you find these uh, blocks here. Hmm. Going to need some of these red line. Might be useful for when I get back. Hmm. Okay, if I place this on top. That is a neat idea indeed. Just need to take them with me. But anyways, these are how you get the trample jelly blocks. I have more at the lab area, so I will check them out a bit later. But from these trees you get these ki various kinds of logs, such as marshmallow logs. And they are basically all the same, but the leaves are different at least, so... Ooh, a pig! Uh, let me go and get this pig. Do not run from your doom, piggies! Okay. Give me your piggy meat. Like candy canes. I got gummy bears. Hold up, does that? Hmm. 
And let me check and see if... Yeah, that goes slightly further than a regular bow. That's very nice. Okay. We just hunt a bit more of these. So basically, this one is infinite. Okay, so this is a Pez Jelly. Goodness gracious! Did it give birth to that? No! Okay, it did not explode. But I think I might have just messed up. Alright, good. It did not. Okay, so the blue ones explode and cause fire. Very... Goodness. Okay, I've... I've really done messed up. Um... I simply must get that portal back. Oh, you laughing at me, Blue Bunny? Okay, get it back. Hurry, hurry. And... Okay. Dang, he's a tug. He just took my arrow and flung it right back at me. Like a boss. Okay, um... Yeah, and it's giving birth to the twisty ones. It's just pooping them right out. Okay, so, um... If I could somehow trap him onto this... That tree right there. Then maybe there's some hope. The heck is he floating on? Oh, that's a halt bar. Hold up, I had some of this still in my inventory. Where did it go? You know what, I might have placed it, so... I'm right, not important now. What's important is slaying this and seeing what the heck it drops. Alright, get down here, yeah. Filthy Pez Jelly. Right, you are. There's more of them. Why the heck not? Let's activate all of them. Dang, he really follows. Should have got myself a super sword. Well, this is an acceptable amount of food items. Got myself a cookie, got some candy canes, got some jelly, gummies, we've got some cranfish, got some honey stars, I'm sure we'll figure out how to eat it eventually. Guess not, it's like flint. Um, you can use that as a fishing line, so this is edible too. Okay, so... Maybe, just maybe, I shouldn't have came to this dimension and slay some of its wild animals just so we can eat them. But I still don't regret a dainton. But those, those twisty jellies are just so funny to me. Let's activate you! You are orange! And do- And you do that. Alright, let's find the portal. Get the heck up out of here. I think I must say, they do go fast. 
to be expected since they're freaking huge. They are not even affected by armor. It just poops it right out. Okay, so. Now the time of what to do is obvious. Or oh, Jelly Queen. Just poop your pink, okay. And hopefully these do not go to my dimension. Let's get the heck about it. One of them followed. Hey, some of its native inhabitants decided to. Okay. He did. He did the correct ten going back. I was gonna slam so fast. Alright. But anyways, let's head back to up here so I can show you this. Somehow one of these creatures got up here, and somehow that won't get out of my screen. So that's quite annoying. Let's just wait for it to come down and... That one bounces you really high. Alright, so... This is so this. This is the normal trample jelly. This is soft trample jelly, but it also has no fall damage and is extra bouncy. This one bounces twice as high, and this one gets rid of fall damage. Keep in mind that means these two right here, you completely die from the fall damage. Now let me see here something. Oh, I forgot to release the plague on those creatures. Oh well, guess the zombie is gonna have to feel it. And he's wearing golden armor, so maybe he can survive this? Nope. Guess not. So my aim is to aim for this. Now we figured out how to get the purple ones. And this one gets that high. And this one gets uh, this high. And you get that. So it's very nice. Ouch. And that's it. So it's time to go and enjoy some of this. I'll personally eat the candy cane myself. And we've got some gummies. Got some lollipops. We've got a pretty decent haul. Go ahead, get into this. See, now I don't recall showing any of these humans this, but uh, here's a room. Got stuff of humans that have been slain, and this one is for the infamous one that will probably attack one day. Those are all the attackers that thought they can get to an invader. Okay. Well, this candy has has us tripping out and acting all kinds of insane. I do not see how humans like this. But so maybe they might. Here, enjoy that. Enjoy that. Enjoy this, Dr. Exo. I built that specifically for you, but you decided to sit on the floor. I guess that's fine. It's a nice little picnic, and I'll just have me a lollipop. No, a fish. Can these be cooked? Heck if I know, but have a... Actually, that fish isn't mine. Here, each of you get a fish. Each of you get a lollipop. And I will keep this for myself. No, no, no. Oh, my armor took quite a beating. There you go. And from from the lab, happy Valentine's Day. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to probe this like button, invade the subscribe button for more videos such as this one. Say this to allies and comment down below. Okay. Say this to allies and comment down below. And until next next time invader out happy valentine's day well listen up i am not very
charismatic. It, I talk to you, it won't be automatic. I'm tight.